Hello YouTube, this look I'm calling Pink and Chocolate Glamour. So if you are feeling glamorous, keep right on watching. Welcome back YouTube. In order to get started, you're going to need a few products. The first product I'm going to use is Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Potion. I'm also going to be using a shade stick or a jumbo eyeshadow pencil by NYX and I'm using the color in Strawberry Milk. You'll need a dark shadow for your crease, and the crease color that I'm using is Max Emanuel Ngaro Mineral. You also need some eyeshadows, and I'm using this palette by Urban Decay. And the eyeshadows that I'm going to use is a frosty white for my highlight called Polyester, a blender color called Midnight Cowboy which I'm also going to use on my lid another blender color called Shotgun which I'm going to use to blend out my crease color and the crease color for today is going to be small so let's go ahead and get started let me zoom in and the first thing I'm going to do, I've already primed my lid with Urban Decay, I'm going to go over it now with the Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and get a nice good coat of that on there. I'm going to take a flat shader brush and today I'm using Max 242. I'm going to blend this out. You can also use your fingers, whichever you find works best for you. And I'm going to go in with my palette color and the color that I'm going to use for my lid is called Midnight Cowboy. But I'm also going to take a little mixing medium because I want this color to be a little bit more concentrated. And um, on mocha skin, sometimes colors will not pop simply because we already have a lot of pigment in our skin to begin with. So I'm going to load that up. And all I'm really going to get is shimmer. Place that all over the lid. And you'll notice, woo, it is so super, super shiny. I love it because it's actually going to get toned down. So don't be too afraid to put that all over. And, of course, my MUA tip of the day, concentrate a little bit extra right there in the corner. There, we're finished with that lid color. You're going to take a pencil brush, and I am using... Um, I think this is a 219 by MAC and I'm going to take my dark crease color and the only reason I'm going to take this darker color is just simply to warm up that um, smog a little bit more so I'm going to take that crease color and basically just draw a line like I'm cutting the crease I'm going to start with my outer V and just drag it in and I'm going to use a good concentration of that color almost like you're cutting your crease and I'm going to bring it all the way in For a tip on an easy way to cut the crease, check out my, uh, I think it's the L.A. Laker look video where I, I give my secret to how I cut my crease and make it even and perfect each time and easy. Okay, we got enough of that crease color in there to really deepen out this smog. And we're going to take a fluffy brush. And today I'm going to use one by Sonia Kashuk. It's a round dome fluffy brush and I'm going to put it into my um, crease color which is going to be smog and I'm going to just do circles one circle here the next circle only in my crease the next circle and I'm really going to work that color all the way across that crease into my inner corner circle circle so I'm basically just dropping it drop it like it's hot <laughs> and then just blend it over really smooth I love this brush this brush does a lot of the work for you there you go the next thing I'm going to do is then I'm going to wipe this brush off and I'm gonna go in with one of my blender colors and I'm gonna blend over it this shotgun color which is a little bit of a pinky color I'm just going to go over that so smog is a warm gold copper color and uh, shotgun is a pink 
and I'm just going to put that right over the outer edge just over that edge just like so I'm going to put a little bit more smog in there because I really like that color oops Just like that. Now I'm going to wipe that brush off and I'm going to go ahead and grab another fluffy brush by Sonia Kashuk. And it's more of a fat, uh, fluffy shader brush. And I'm going to apply my highlight. And the highlight that I'm going to use is the white, the polyester bride. But because it's white and I don't want to look too um, costumey, I'm going to do it just at the very, very tip of the under side of my eyebrow and blend it down just basically just patting it not dragging it or anything like that okay that's it for the top shadows I'm going to take my liner brush which I love to use and you can see underneath my eye I applied a little bit of the light color and then small across the entire lash line at the bottom so I'm going to start off with the smog and draw that in And the way the lighting is hitting today, I can't really tell in the camera whether or not it's showing up. So kind of let me know if you can't see that small color underneath the lower lash line. And after the smog, I'm going to wipe that brush off again. And I'm going to go in with the um, Midnight Cowboy color and put just a little bit of that right underneath the smog just to make it a little shiny. And I'm going to run that also all the way out to the edge. Okay. Now to pump this look up a little bit, what I did was I applied a navy liner. I applied a wispy spidery lash and navy liner on the um, inner rim. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back with the final look. Okay, YouTube, this is the final look. Let me zoom in. And there you have it. <laughs> it's a little glamorous. Ooh. On the rest of my face, I'm wearing uh, Lancome Dual Finish Foundation in Matte Ginger 5. If you're looking for a foundation for the summertime, this is awesome. Very pleased with it. And then I set it with Color Ideal Powder and dark tin the same by Lancome and I did it both with just a little kabuki brush and on my cheeks I'm wearing NYX Rouge and Diva and on top of Diva I'm wearing um, Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Smooth Merge and that's one of the things I love about the skin finishes you can use them as a blush and then on my lips I'm a little bit more dramatic than I would be any other time of the day but I'm wearing Verushka by MAC and it is a dark dark burgundy color and on top of that I'm wearing blue comet dazzle glass thanks so much for watching YouTube don't forget to rate comment and subscribe have a great day smooches